Thank you for joining me today at Covenant Keepers Ministries. I'm Les Potts, and this is our video devotional for Tuesday, September the 25th, 2018. Let me reread the scripture we're looking at this week from the Sermon on the Mount. So we've been in this study verse by verse of the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 7, verses 21 through 23. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, done many wonders in your name? And I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Wow, this is this is just really a warning scripture. And it and really is accommodating scripture to those who do the will of the Father. But it's a warning scripture to those who say, well, we've done all these things. We're doing all these things in your name. And therefore, we're yours. <laughs> Jesus is making it clear. No, no, no. No, that doesn't make you mine because you claim to be one of mine and do things that are part of my uh, kingdom. Now, he, one of the things he mentions is you exorcise demons. You cast out demons in my name. Now, the Bible declares this is a legitimate ministry. It's a valid ministry to cast out demons in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we're told in, in Mark 16, it will be a sign that follows believers. But Jesus warns that you can do that and still not enter the kingdom of heaven. Now, for some of us, that's, <clears throat> what? That's unimaginable. You can cast out demons in Jesus' name and not enter the kingdom of heaven? You see, some will do it from the wrong motive. Some will do it because uh, they are copying someone else who did it. Their life of work, casting out demons, may be good. But their individual, personal life may be rotten. Listen to what Jesus says in Matthew 24, 24. For false Christs and false prophets shall arise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. So I'm telling you that according to what I find in the word of God, that there are some people who cast out demons in the name of the Lord who are false prophets. You see, that sounds contradictory to us in our human reasoning, but they're not doing it from a motive that's pure. They're doing it to glorify the devil. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8-9 through 9, it says, Then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. The coming of a lawless one is, in, uh, is according to the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders. So in other words, there are people who are casting out demons that aren't following Jesus. And they're doing it in the name of Jesus. I have found something in the body of Christ that's frequently happened throughout the history of Christianity that we have an unwarranted interest in the phenomenal. In other words, as Jesus was saying, we seek signs and wonders. We want more signs. We want more power. We, we want more of this, what we call phenomenal or power ministries. But do we want more of Jesus? Wow. Bottom line, do you want more of Jesus Christ? Do you want him to have more of you? In Luke 10, 20, Jesus spoke these words. He said, nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice that your names are written in heaven. This was after they came back, the disciples, and reported after being sent out two by two that they had cast out demons and then miracles had been done. And he said, don't rejoice that spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that you've got a place in heaven. Your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. You see, I, I want you to understand something just, just as clear as could be. You can be a follower of Jesus Christ in name only. You're enamored by signs and wonders and you want power ministry. And you want to be known that, wow, we're the king's kids. But do you want Jesus to know you and be known of him? 
Do you want him to be Lord of your life? Do you love him deeply? How's your relationship with him today? Don't be a name only Christian. Be a devoted follower. One who does the will of the Father. I'm challenging you today. Don't just take the name. Live by what he says. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you. Thank you today that you've called us to relationship, to walk in relationship with you. By the abiding presence of your Holy Spirit, we have the power to do so, and we receive that power today to walk godly in Christ Jesus, to walk hand in hand with freshness in the relationship, with exuberance and joy in following you. Bless us as we follow you. We ask in Christ's name. Amen. Have a blessed day.